I got it open. Good heavens, man. Great Scott, we've discovered the fountain of all knowledge of Egypt and the entire world, you... Do you realize the importance of this moment, Smidge? Yes, sir, I do. Do you see the brilliance, the, the untold years? I see it, sir. <laughs> oh, sir, wait, sir. This is medicine, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. That father. Very slow. Look! What is this? See. Says. Can I? This is the elixir of life, sir. The elixir of life? The cure for all diseases. Wait, let's see here. Wait, look, give it to me. Description on the bottom. Give it to me. Give it. Open at other end. You lomax. This can't be, man. What? You know what this is? What is it, Buddha? It's the book of life. In the beginning, when men arrived on Earth, the black gods did leave their spacecraft, and they walked, and they named the beast of the sea and the animals of the land. Heavens. And man in his blackness did walk the Earth, making medicine. Medicine? They discovered type. These were all black people got down. This ain't, there ain't nothing in here about white. This is ours, Jack. Wait till the brothers hear this. Puna. I'm gonna get this book out of here, baby. This tells me real key. Puna, get this off. Self-control yourself, don't you see? What you mean, Jack? Look at this here. Black people discovered it, started the music and the brain surgery back in the year 3 B.C. Yes, of course, of course, Puna. Man, they was getting down. This is it, brother. Yes, Everybody gonna know about this. This book. We can change the history. Civilization will be changed. By all means. Yeah, this is going to be it. Get the bulldozers. There's nothing here. But, 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 but. Shut but. up. Good heavens, time for tea, eh? What? <laughs> the Book of Life. He found what we were doing. He said back in 3 BC, but... It was more like 3,000 BC. I got to get this book out of here. Wait till I tell the brothers. It will change history. Once black folk know who they are, they will change their thinking, they will change their speech, they will change their behavior, and we will transform the world. White folks said, you can't have that because we make money off you being ignorant. Remember Richard Pryor in the 1980s? I think it was uh, Richard Pryor live in the Sunset Strip. Said that he went to Africa. He spent a couple of weeks in Africa. And he said that while he was in Africa, he realized, ain't no niggas in Africa. And that realization,